All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. Tech's not the new setup with the headset here. Just using the GoPro Media Mod on my Hero 8. So I've uh, been messing around with some adapters a little bit. So flying the SP140 prototype. Uh, I'm gonna get hooked in here. All good. Here we go. All right. Yeah, and I see that plane up there. Took a little bit to get into the seat. Man, what a beautiful night. Flying the old Ozone Spider here out Minerva Airport. And uh, just getting out of the pattern a little bit. We do have some plans in the air that we just saw. I gotta check out this little hill with the cows. But yeah, this, uh, SP-140, I've only actually got to fly a few times. I've done a lot of development work with Paul, but uh, since this has more been his baby, he's always also the pest on me. But I always like flying the X-4 and a lot of similarities just with the electric. Um, you know, it's super simple. Just charge it up, plug it in and turn it on and then you're, you're golden. Gone are the days of mixing gas, uh, remembering to get gas even, and uh, worrying about all that stinking up your car or whatever. And then, of course, once you get there, pulse starting it and having to worry about, I've had so many broken pulse starter cables actually. My old uh, Fresh Breeze Monster was kind of famous for that. You get all set up on a beautiful night like this and man, it would uh, just die. and. Then, uh, I think a couple of times I was stupid enough to hand prop it because I was so uh, set on, you know, wanting to get up there and fly. But no worries with this, that's for sure. We're going to climb a little bit, maybe. It's about 87 volts. Great. All right, so now there's a test. This is with zero throttle, so um, hopefully it's a little bit easier to hear me. So of course, the prop is still going just because it's kind of free spin in there. Ideally, uh, kind of avoid that. It's a little bit extra drag, but just chirp to let me know, hey, it's still on and armed, which is great for on the ground because you, uh, don't want to get too close to it if someone's on the throttle and you think it's actually just completely off. Little swoop de swoops. The cool thing is uh, you can also see the altitude built in right here. It's so about 60 feet, 70 feet, 80 feet and then uh, just climb it up. So you can really get a good eye on uh, your altitude above, above where you took off. That's the key, right? So it's not uh, MSL, 
above the sea level, but um, it is above the field levels. The nice thing too is you can calibrate it if you wanted to show above sea level, just plug in your computer, enter in, uh, enter in the millibars or whatever and calibrate it just like you normally would. Looks like there's not too much wind. So I don't think it really matters where I land. Always a good time. It really does advertise itself. The whole paramotoring. Just like nothing else. All right, I'm just gonna bring it in. Let's see, sometimes it's a little tricky on the 